All right, I'm gonna be walking you through getting started with Libet for the first time. So we're here on uh, app.libethealth.com. This is how we access Libet. It's a web-based application. Um, once you've edit, entered your email and password, you can just continue and Libet will lock you in. Great, so this is the page that you'll see when you first enter Liabird. You'll have a trial up here that tells me how many days we've got left in the free trial. Um, but using Liabird is a really simple process. So there's a couple of different modes and I'll walk you through them. So so consult is designed to be used when you're in the room with the patient and you, know, and you want Liabird to be used at its full functionality. It's gonna take your clinical notes for you and it's gonna write any letters or documents that you need after the consult's finished. Um, Using it is really simple. All you need to do is enter a patient name in here. So I could enter David D. If I wanted to add a birthday, I could. Um, and then I could add, you know, uh, sex, and this is going to determine the pronouns for the consultation. Now, there are three default note templates. One, two, three here. So SOAP is, you know, generic medical note template, subjective, objective assessment and plan. Then chief complaint, and if, you, if you're someone who has a patient that walks in with five or six different problems and multiple complaints is going to separate it out into relevant sections. Um, you can change these templates throughout the whole, you know, throughout the whole process. So don't worry if you set the wrong one at the start. I've created some other notes down here so I can share these with you and you can access them through the community as well. So to start the consult, we just hover over here, choose initial or review based on which consult it is. And then Liabird's going to block us here. It's going to tell us that we need to take consent from the patient before we can continue any further. So I'm just going to click yes. Um, the way you approach consent is, is up to you, but generally you need to make sure you take verbal consent from the patient or you incorporate a written consent form. If it's verbal, you can just say something like, um, do you mind if I use this new piece of technology? It uses um, AI to help me write my clinical notes and letters and I can get them back to you quicker. Um, Telehealth consult. So you want to select this if you are using something like Google Meets, uh, Microsoft Teams, Zoom, or something like that. Essentially, what you need to do here is select the window which you're sharing from, and Liabird will be able to tap into that audio source. So if you're wearing headphones, this is exactly what you need to tick. Once I start, we'll see that there's this top right hand corner shows me that the microphone is connected and it's working. Um, I can select different microphones. So if I wanted to select this one here that's connected to my shirt, I can just click on it and it will swap over. So hopefully it's now picking up my voice through here and we can continue the consultation. Now in the middle of the page, there's a notepad. So I can add notes in here. Say I wanted to type, David looks very pale. It's probably not something I want to verbalize to the patient, but it is something I can include in my notes and, it, and we understand that you still took notes beforehand, so we want to keep that very natural and allow you to add notes. It's going to add like a timeline here so you can see when you added the notes and where it's relevant in the transcript. Um, so, so now you just conduct a consultation. You can focus directly on the patient. You don't need to worry about taking your notes and you can trust that Liabird's going to do that for you. Um, so I could, you know, conduct a consultation now and um, I might say something like, thanks, David. Thanks for coming in and seeing me today. How can I help you? And the patient might say, thanks, David, um, I'm coming in just because I've been going to the bathroom a lot, drinking a lot of water, um, and my auntie said I should come in and see a doctor because she has type 1 diabetes. She thought it might be something related to that. Okay, um, well, thanks for coming in, and can you tell me a little bit more? How many times are you going to the toilet a day? How much are you drinking? What's been going on? Um, so I've been going to the bathroom you know, about four times every night, which is very unusual for me. It started, I think, a month or so ago and drinking three or four bottles of water every day, um, which is also pretty uncommon. I've, I've also got the sore on my elbow, which is taking a long time to recover, and I'm not sure if that's related or, or not, but um, that's really everything that's been happening. I haven't been vomiting. Um, I've been eating all right. Um, I've been pretty tired, but that's, I guess, normal. And, and how old are you, David? So um, you, you don't believe you're 15 years old, is that correct? Yes, that's right. Um, so once I've finished that awkward conversation with myself, I can just stop the consultation. Um, 
And actually, before I stop, I might just say, all right, great. Well, what we're going to do is we'll, we'll test your uh, blood sugar level and we'll do that through a urine sample. And you can do that right now. We can test the level. That'll give us an indication of if your blood sugars are elevated. If they are, then we'll probably send you straight to the emergency department and they will conduct some more tests to confirm a diagnosis. Um, and then once you've done that, they will take you through that process. And if you are diabetic, then you can come back and see me in a couple of weeks and we can talk about the plan moving forward. How does that sound? Cool, so I'll, I'll stop listening there. And essentially, you don't need to worry about if you click stop and the consult's not finished. You can always resume it at the end. Um, so I can see up here, resume consult if I wanted to. So for this consultation, Liebert's given me the following note. So you can see here that it's, it's listed that out. Um, It looks very accurate to me. Um, and I can also see the transcript. So I can see the whole transcript here and I can also see that it's switched over my microphone. Um, and then you can see that it's got this whole consult with timestamps and I can copy each section if I wanted to. The notepad is also included here. Um, now, what we need to do is we can either transfer just the notes, but if we need to write a letter to the emergency department or if we need to write a letter to patient and the family or the GP, then I can type in here, um, I can click write document and then click on letter to specialist, emergency medicine, uh, maybe I also want to select um, letter to referring clinician and a patient letter. So I can do all three of these um, in Liabird. You can see here's the first one, this is to the emergency department. Second one here is the patient letter. So this is in a patient facing format. And then there's another one back to the letter to a referring clinician. Um, all of these notes and letters that we see on the screen here, they're very customizable. So if you don't want it to be dot points or if you don't want it to be very short and use abbreviations or if you want it to be shorter and use more abbreviations, you can do that and you do that in customize. But for now, if you're in the console and you need to change it, then you can use AI edit so I can click on this and say, use extreme uh, abbreviations to very, very short. Um, and I can click enter and essentially it's going to take that note and use my AI edit to create a very short and concise note like this. Um, I can do the same for the letters as well if I want to um, use much more. And essentially it's going to take that information and re, re, reword it in a um, formal language. So you can use that to, to help you edit the notes and letters. You don't have to spend as much time doing it manually. Um, that's, that's how you'd use Liabird for your first consultation. And you can just click this copy button for the letter or for the notes and copy them paste it into your medical record if you're using it in an unintegrated version. Um, I'll, I'll make another video and we'll show you dictate, history, customize and all of that in a separate video. Thank you.